I literally was trained as a designer in designing for obsolescence. In other words, I was trained to make sure that the electric appliances we would design would fail at the right point that the consumer liked them, but they'd still fail, so they'd come back and buy a new one. For the last three days, we came together as a group of companies and organizations thinking about how our organizations can be more circular and more regenerative. And if that intent shifts to making something circular, making something regenerative, every design, every innovation becomes an opportunity to get closer to that desired future. How do we change people's minds? How do we tell great stories? How do we offer people solutions that bring about a different world? exploring what does a regenerative economy look like and how can designers get us there. So we've been taking them through immersion in the forest systems and being in the forest, being there experiencing the incredible in ingenuity of nature. We looked at future building and thinking about our visions for organisations of the future, what the design function would look like. A sort of meditative journey through time into the future, walking around the design departments, imagining what, what people are up to. Moving into sort of more practical prototyping and then storytelling. So how do we tell the story about the kind of vision that we have and how do we bring our prototype to life? Everyone is already starting to translate that into who are the stakeholders within their organisations and within their systems that they want to try and influence. How can I impact my organization at Coca-Cola, which is a huge company? How can I implement things that we discussed here in a piloting that have people buying in and then make it bigger, you know? We looked at culture, we looked at mindsets, we looked at skills and capabilities they would need. I would say one of the key fundamentals in a circular economy is a paradigm shift from competitive to collaborative. In order to get there, we have to build massive sets of new infrastructure. We talked about you know, the, the whole idea or notion of natural capital. Work with your supply chain, your value chain, your local ecosystem to effectively widen the scope of value creation beyond economic profit alone. Designers are really strong to create alternative world, imaginary uh, world, place where we basically will be attracted to live in. I think the role of designers is to be the provocateurs, call things out and say, we need to be bolder. This is what the future could look like. Let's imagine that together. From there, designers are brilliant and starting to shape what these futures could look like, starting to get everyone on board to believe that that future is possible through our skills and making and creating and shaping and building. These steps that the participants are taking to their organizations are sort of seeds. It would be great for my company also to really kind of broaden some of the relationships that we've got out of this. And ideas around or what can we do together. There might be some collaborative projects that spin out of this. Let's have these design leaders bring, bring about an evolution in their organization, but doing that in a collaborative sense. I mean, it would just be interesting to meet like in six months and understand from what we did now, what have you done? And you know, what kind of discussions have you had in, in your organization and how have it landed so far? This interaction is probably the recipes for building a group regenerative uh, movement, maybe, you know, maybe it's maybe bold, but that's really what I would like to see to come.